Hey, how's it going, everybody? As you know, if you have a public repository on GitHub, then other people can contribute to it by opening pull requests. In this video, I want to show you how we can take a look at one of those pull requests and how we can edit the pull request before merging it into the project that we own. So over on my GitHub account, I have a project called Dijkstra Pathfinding. And this is a simple visualization of Dijkstra's famous pathfinding algorithm. Now, if we look at the top navigation menu, you will see that there is this one open pull request. If I go ahead and press on this um, icon, you can see that this is our pull request. It says that it's been opened by Ajit Gupta and that was on the 26th of July. So let's go ahead and check out what changes he made. So in this open pull request, there are a couple of interesting details that I want to point out. First off, Ajit has left a comment for us, which is he says that he has added a manual start to the grid, which to me suggests that he has simply added some sort of a mechanism that allows us to choose the starting point of where Dijkstra's pathfinding algorithm starts off. Now that's an interesting change, one that I would like to have in my project. So let's see if the um, changes that he made make sense. The changes that he's made are down here in this commit history. You can see that the first one says that he has added a manual starting point. That's great. We can go ahead and open that up. And the second one is that he created a readme. Now I have uh, subsequently deleted the readme because I do not need it in this project. So you can see that the third commit over here actually came from me. So in this screen, you can see some more details on the pull request and what it contains. You can see that there are a couple of changes to the code that we made. Specifically, you can see on the right hand side, is the new code which is being submitted by the person who opened the pull request and on the left hand side you can see the original code by looking at the code there's not really any way of knowing whether or not these changes make any sense so it would be sensible to open these changes in a local environment run them and see if they work so to do that we can simply click on these three dots over here and we can then go on open in desktop and it's going to ask us whether we want to do that. I'm going to click on open. And subsequently, we need to choose um, some sort of sensible folder. So we're going to go with pull request review. And it is going to then give us the possibility to clone the project. So let's go ahead and clone the project. And after that, you will see that it will open up the project within our file explorer. And these are precisely the files that our Git repository also contains. So let's go ahead and minimize that. We might need it later on. So let's take a moment to appreciate the desktop version of GitHub. Uh, you can see in the top left-hand corner, we have the Dijkstra pathfinding project open. And we are currently looking at the pull request um, that we saw on GitHub a moment ago. And we have a couple of options over here. So we can either open this uh, project in Visual Studio Code. Now, I don't want to do that because that is a Python project and I want to open it in PyCharm. We can also go ahead and view this on GitHub. We just had GitHub open, we don't want to do that. And we can also look at all this in the File Explorer. So instead of doing any of these options, I'm simply going to go ahead and open PyCharm. So now that our PyCharm project is loaded, we want to go ahead and run the code. First off, we're going to go ahead and open a new terminal. And within the terminal, the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a virtual environment. And that is going to create a new virtual environment. You'll see it pop up in the folder tree right here in just a moment after it's loaded. So now you can see that it's uh, popped up by the way. But now the next thing we want to do is we want to activate that virtual environment. So we're going to write Venz scripts activate to activate the virtual environment. You can see that it's activated by this green label at the beginning. And the last thing that we need to do before we run the project is install the requirements in the requirements.txt file. So to do that, we need to change directory into the die 
extra pathfinding. And once we're in there, we're simply going to run pip install recursively, which is the small R flag over here, requirements.txt. And once we execute that, we are installing all the requirements. And now that that's done, we can simply go ahead and execute this by writing Python and then writing pathfinding. And that allows us to run the project and inspect whether or not we like the changes that were within the pull request. I have already reviewed these changes and I've come to the conclusion that I want them within my project. So since the changes that were made by the person who opened the pull request make sense and I want them in my project, I'm going to go back to the pull requests and I am going to then click on the pull request and find the option to merge it. So I'm going to click on merge pull request and I'm going to confirm the merge. And now after I've done that, all the changes will be in the original uh, Git repository that is on my GitHub. So if I go back to the project and I look at the pathfinding code, you will see that the changes are implemented. So I remember these four things were not originally commented out in my code, but now they are. So the pull request has been merged into our project successfully.